Ama Angela. Ama Angela. Ama Angela. Viva Palestine, viva. Viva Palestine, viva. Viva Palestine, viva. We want to support the people against oppression for organizing this march. Give them a round of applause. Assalamu alaikum to one and all of you. Namaste. Vanakam. Sanbonani. Comrades, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to be here, to be able to be supporting the fall of Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to call on the government on the decision of the 54th National Conference of the ANC, which called for the immediate and unconditional downgrade of the Israeli embassy in South Africa, and finally removed out of our land. You can't, you can't give a round of applause for that. In the words of the icon Nelson Mandela, in 1997, the United, at the United Nations took a strong stand against apartheid. And over the years, an international consensus was built, which helped to bring an end to the inconsistent systems. But we too, well that a freedom is incomplete in this country without the freedom of Palestine, I unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish to add our voice to those who criticize the discriminating and the killing of Palestinians by the brutal forces of Israeli government. We call for justice for those who have been killed and we urge the United Nations to broker a just settlement for those who suffer from illegal actions of Israel that are occupying the Persian land. Comrades, ladies and gentlemen, I want to quote from the Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who said on the 15th of May, 2018, I'm deeply distressed and brokenhearted by the massacre by the state of Israel and the strip of Gaza. We also echo the sentiments that murder of innocent women and children. I want to commend our minister, Lindiwe Susulu, who recalled our South African ambassador to Israel. This action shows the strong diplomatic protest at the shocking conduct of Israel government and the Israeli Defense Force. Ladies and gentlemen, what we saw today, we're going to see throughout the country. And I believe that every human being should support this cause. It's a human cause. They are destroying innocent women and children. The situation in Gaza is grim. We are witnessing a humanitarian disaster unfold. And we have got to do something about it. And we have had already started the campaign. It is, fully, it is very difficult to fully comprehend the immense suffering of the people of Gaza. Firstly, we will extend our heartfelt solidarity with the people of Gaza for their loss of life and hardship and deprivation that they suffer. Despite international outcry at the actions, the Israeli government continues to show that they are 
inhumane in the actions. In the last few nights, the Gaza Strip has been bombed, and the bombing has killed many innocent women and children. During the peaceful, these women and children were peacefully demonstrating like we are doing. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades, the World Health Organization has said that 350 people may be temporarily, temporarily and permanently disabled by the bombing that has taken place. And I want to say that we, as the African National Congress, will stand steadfast with the people of Palestine. People have a right to march, and they have a right to march peacefully. And that's what the people are doing on the Gaza Strip. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to call on all South Africans, wherever they might be, wherever there might be a march like this, to go and lend their support because Palestine has stood with us during the dark days of apartheid. And we need to stand with them in their dark days and bring down apartheid. I thank you.